Star Connections Radio presents... Welcome to Vegas Hockey Hub here on PRConnectionsRadio.com, the voice of new media. I'm your host, Ian Rakelli. And on this edition of Vegas Hockey Hub, we are going to be doing a different kind of video. As on this episode, we are going to be kind of taking a look at the Henderson Silver Knights. But more importantly, we're not doing a present. We're not doing a future. More importantly, we are doing a past, kind of looking at how the Henderson Silver Knights, since they have been created and ever since they moved over from the San Antonio Rampage and became the Henderson Silver Knights, I want to kind of be looking at and seeing how they have made an impact with the Vegas Golden Knights. What are a few players who have come from Henderson that have made an impact in the NHL with your Vegas Golden Knights? So it's going to be a really fun episode. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be talking about And more importantly, there are going to be some players that you may or may not remember that actually spent time in the AHL before getting their turn on the Vegas Golden Knights organization and being a member of your NHL team. Now, before we get into all of that, go to PRConnectionsRadio.com, the voice of new media. Check out all of the fantastic content we have on the network. We have about a dozen shows on the platform, including Vegas Hockey Hub. So I would say go to PRConnectionsRadio.com and check out all of the content we have on there. We're also on social media, on all social media platforms. So YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We are everywhere at Vegas Hockey Hub. And if you want to follow your host, I am right down here at Ian J. Rakelli. So to kind of establish the tone here, let me give you what I am talking about to kind of set up the premise of what this episode is about. Now, two disclaimers. One, I am not talking about the Chicago Wolves. Now, for some people who may or may not remember, the first couple of seasons, the Vegas Golden Knights had the Chicago Wolves as their AHL affiliate. And even though you had some guys... Like, for example, Nick Waugh. You had players like King, King Colazar. There were some players who did play with the Chicago Wolves, and then they ended up becoming NHLers with your Vegas Golden Knights. They are not going to count on this episode. So for the people that were in 2017, 2018, or 2019 that were with the Chicago Wolves of the AHL, That is not what I am referencing here. That's not what we're going to be talking about. We're just going to be talking about exactly the players who have been on the Henderson Silver Knights organization, the people who have been in Henderson since they were created, since the Vegas Golden Knights purchased the San Antonio Rampage and and transferred them and relocated them to Henderson to play at the Dollar Loan Center. This is not all we're going to be talking about. So just players who have been playing in Henderson. And the second preference, and the second thing I'm going to be saying is I am not going to be counting players who did a short stint in the AHL. So if there was somebody who made just one start in the Henderson Silver Knights before being in the NHL, they are not going to count because there are two players who had a small cup of coffee in the AHL playing in Henderson. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm not going to be counting that when it comes to your Vegas Golden Knights. So to really get into this, we have to kind of mention and go into who was on the Golden Knights roster, who was a Henderson Silver Knights member during their inaugural season. So, Back when the Henderson Silver Knights were first created in 2020, there was a few players on that 2020 roster when they played at the Orleans Arena before it was created out there in Henderson, out there at the Dollar Loan Center. They played at the Orleans Arena. They actually were there for a little bit of time. Now, in 2020, 2021, your Henderson Silver Knights, they actually had a few members on that squad that ended up 
becoming valuable members of your Vegas Golden Knights organization. So really getting into it and looking at what they had back in 2020, there is some really good players we do have to mention. And one of the first players that has been a very valuable part of your Vegas Golden Knights is forward Paul Cotter. Now, Paul Cotter, this is someone who was drafted in 2017. He was from the inaugural draft class with the Vegas Golden Knights organization. But when it came to Paul Cotter, this is somebody who did spend a few seasons with the Henderson Silver Knights, two, in fact. He spent two seasons playing for the Henderson Silver Knights organization. And not only did um, Paul Cotter end up being a really solid everyday guy out there in Henderson. Not only did he spend his final season playing in Henderson, getting around 20 goals that year, but ever since he came over and played with your Vegas Golden Knights, Paul Cotter has ended up becoming one of the most constant players on your middle six with the Vegas Golden Knights organization. So for a guy like Paul Cotter, he came from that inaugural team and the first class of the Henderson Silver Knights organization. So he was in Henderson in 2020 and in 2021. Now, is it a fact that he did play in Chicago in 2019? Yes. However, because he played in Henderson for more longer than he did in Chicago, he will be counted as players who spent time in Henderson who eventually became everyday guys in the Vegas Golden Knights organization. And for somebody who was drafted in 2018, someone who the Vegas Golden Knights got because of the Tampa Bay Lightning, giving them a 2018 draft pick during the 2017 NHL expansion draft, Paul Cotter has really developed and has become a solid member of your Vegas Golden Knights organization. But he may have not done that if he did not spend his first two seasons in 2020 and 2021 playing in the AHL and being a member of the Henderson Silver Knights organization. As what we're talking about on this episode of Vegas Hockey Hub is I'm going to be going through just a couple of players who have made an impact with the Vegas Golden Knights while contributing and getting their start in the AHL with the Henderson Silver Knights. So going back into 2020, which was the inaugural season of the Henderson Silver Knights when they were playing at the Orleans Arena, another player who actually did a lot of good in Henderson and then eventually earned his way into the NHL and playing with your Vegas Golden Knights. This guy was drafted in 2019 and he actually spent three seasons with the Henderson Silver Knights organization. And I'm talking about a guy who was a top five prospect entering this season. And I'm talking about Pavel Dorofiev. Pavel Dorofiev, he spent three seasons with this organization in 2020, 2021, and in 2022. He only played in the AHL with the Henderson Silver Knights. But what a situation he was in, and more importantly, how well Pavel Dorofiev did while in the AHL, progressing under the Golden Knights system. Pavel Dorofiev had 45 goals in 120 games played while as a member in the AHL. It's also the same guy in Pavel Dorofiev who, despite splitting the season in 2022-2023, he played the entire 60-game season in 2021-2022, and he had 27 goals and 52 points in that season. He just did an incredible job in the AHL and really earned and kind of had a spotlight shown right on Palador Fiev for what he was doing in the AHL. Now, of course, all of these statistics I am finding on either um, AHL.com or if you go to Hockey Reference, they have them on that tab there. So for anybody who's wondering where these statistics are coming from, you are either getting them from the AHL website or from Hockey Reference. But for a guy in Palador Fiev who spent three seasons out there in Henderson, his final tally as a member of the Henderson Silver Knights, like I said, he played in around 120 games. 
He had 45 regular season goals, 82 points, and 72 penalty minutes with the Henderson Silver Knights. I also have to consider this and keep it in mind that in seven playoff games, what they call the Calder Cup in the AHL, Paladora Fiev had three goals in seven Calder Cup playoff games. So, you know, Paladora Fiev was a playmaker in the Calder Cup playoffs. And then, by the way, we saw recently that Paladora Fiev can be a really good player in the NHL and someone who could be a contributor with your Vegas Golden Knights. So you had Paul Cotter. He was the first player from that inaugural season in the Henderson Silver Knights in 2020, who four years later is making an impact and being a middle six forward with your Vegas Golden Knights. The second guy is Pavel Dorothea, who even though he took a little bit longer than Paul Cotter, he is now a middle six forward and is an everyday contributor with your Vegas Golden Knights. But the next player who came from that 2020 team, someone who was part of the Henderson Silver Knights getting into it, is someone who still is a guy in the AHL. However, because of his limited experience in the NHL, he still does count. And of course, I'm talking about Giannis Roundbeer. And uh, we did a player profile on him a while ago. I will leave a link right up here in post-production so you can click on that video and immediately watch the player profile on Giannis, Giannis Roundbeer. Now, for Giannis Roundbeer, he has spent not just one, not just two, but he has played all four seasons in the Henderson Silver Knights organization. This is someone in Giannis Roundbeer who has played around 180 games in the AHL. Wow, an incredible job by him. But what if I was willing to tell you that despite his limited action in the NHL, he is a solid player in the AHL. Giannis Roundbeer, in around 180 games, has 41 goals, 52 assists, for 93 points in his AHL career. Just to really put that in perspective, that is around half a point per game in the AHL for Giannis Roundbeer. It's also the same guy who has actually been in seven playoff games with the Henderson Silver Knights and has actually racked up two goals in the Calder Cup playoffs with Giannis Roundbeer. So despite him not having a lot of action and despite him not really being able to show what he can do in the NHL in terms of long term, the fact that this is a guy who is a bottom six forward in the NHL and has been someone the Vegas Golden Knights have sent up and sent down almost on a flawless level, he still counts. Because Giannis Roundbeer, just like Paul Cotter, just like Pavel Dorofiev, were an original member of the 2020-2021 Henderson Silver Knights class that is now making NHL appearances for your Vegas Golden Knights. And for Giannis Roundbeer, it will be interesting to see what he does next season, considering what we know a few months from now, anything can happen. But overall, Giannis Roundbeer, this is going to be a guy who is a veteran in the AHL. This is someone who, like I said, less than 200 games, but he's around there in the AHL in terms of games played. And he essentially has done it only with the Henderson Silver Knights. But he's not the only one, right? He's not the only player who was on that Henderson Silver Knights team in 2020 who has made an impact with the Vegas Golden Knights as there was a defenseman who had just been drafted. He was young. He was bright-eyed. And he was someone who the Vegas Golden Knights were hoping would become a future everyday NHLer. And considering what happens in the next couple of months, we might see that in the, in the soon future, as I'm talking about someone who was drafted in 2019 in the same draft class as Pavel Dorofiev. This is someone who is a top 10 prospect with the Vegas Golden Knights. However, this is somebody who has actually spent a decent amount of time in Henderson before getting the call to the NHL. And I'm talking about defenseman Caden Korzak. Now, for anyone who's watched our Prospect Watch, 
I talk very highly about Caden Korzak. I think he's a solid defenseman. He's got a lot of upside. And the fact that he still is at a young age at this point, he still has a lot of value to bring to Vegas. But for Caden Korzak, what a career he has had in the AHL. Caden Korzak came from that inaugural 2020 team with Henderson. He has actually played four seasons, all of them with Henderson. And overall, he has done a really solid career in the AHL. So playing around 140 games when you combine his playoff and regular season stats, Caden Korzak has eight goals and 40 points with the Henderson Silver Knights. It's also the same Caden Korzak who has accumulated 136 penalty minutes with the Henderson Silver Knights. So if you've ever wondered what kind of value Caden Korzak can bring, the fact that he had 60 penalty minutes in one single season, that really shows you that he can be somebody who can drop the gloves and he can defend his teammates when need be. And considering what we saw in the NHL when he was paired with Braden McNabb, in 2023-2024, he is a young, skilled defenseman. And this is just another example of the Henderson Silver Knights having players who have eventually graduated to the NHL. Paul Cotter has done it. Pavel Dorothea has done it. Caden Korzak, he's on the way of doing it. And Giannis Roundbeer has been an example of that as well. So those are four players right there with your Vegas Golden Knights, who have been only a success because of what they did in the AHL. They had to earn, they had to grit, they had to grind in the AHL, but eventually they earned their way into being in the NHL, and they are now going to be everyday members of your Vegas Golden Knights organization. But we're not done, right? Of course we're not done. This is not just four players, and then we're going to go home. As a matter of fact, we have two more players from the Henderson Silver Knights who, if we did not talk about them, it would be an absolute unfortunate situation because those two players are goaltenders. These two goalies, I feel like people have forgotten or they just simply do not remember the fact that when it comes to these two goaltenders – They got their start in Henderson. The first one, you probably have heard of him, but you may not know who he is exactly. The second one, he helped you win a Stanley Cup. You know exactly who he is. So let's start with the one that you may not be familiar with, and that is Yuri Patara. So Yuri Patara, who was drafted in 2017, he came from the inaugural uh, um, NHL draft with the Vegas Golden Knights. He has played four seasons with the Vegas Golden Knights AHL affiliate, the Henderson Silver Knights. But what is interesting about Yuri Patara is that in 85 games he has played in the AHL, he has been dependable, he has been reliable, and more importantly, with a goaltender like Yuri Patara, he has been a guy who the Vegas Golden Knights have counted on when players get hurt. When Logan Thompson would get hurt, when Aiden Hill would get hurt, this past season when Laurent Brisbois ended up getting hurt, who did they call up from the AHL on a moment's notice? Yari Patara. And considering his restricted free agent status in a couple of months, it'll be interesting to see what the Vegas Golden Knights do with him. But when you sit there and really look at what he has done in the AHL, the fact that he has played over 85 games in the AHL, that means that as a goaltender, he is averaging around 25 to 30 games played per season in the AHL. So looking at Yori Patara, he has been the one goaltender that some people may not remember played in Henderson, unless you really sit here and watch Silver Knights games, or if you do coverage on them, you may not remember who he is. But Logan Thompson, you definitely should know who he is. Logan Thompson, he has been the MVP 
of the Vegas Golden Knights in 2023-2024. He has been the bright spot in the Vegas Golden Knights organization. But what some people may not remember, and that's okay if you don't remember, Logan Thompson spent two seasons in the AHL before earning a spot in the NHL. Logan Thompson not only was part of that inaugural season in 2020, 2021, but then he also followed it up with spending more games in 2021, 2022, playing for the Vegas Golden Knights AHL affiliate, Henderson Silver Knights. And not only did Logan Thompson earn the starting role in 2021, 2022, but actually during the Calder Cup playoffs, Logan Thompson would be in net for five Calder Cup uh, playoff games for the Henderson Silver Knights. And when you actually stop and analyze what Logan Thompson did in the AHL, it's actually quite impressive what he did. As Logan Thompson in the Calder Cup playoffs, despite the losing, okay, despite the fact that the Calder Cup playoffs, the Henderson Silver Knights did not go all the way, this was a Henderson Silver Knights team that he had three wins, two losses, and a goals against average of 2.3 in the Calder Cup playoffs that season. So overall, he did a really good job when it came to the Pacific Division and what he did there, as some people, like I said, will not remember this, but when it came to the Calder Cup playoffs, this was a Logan Thompson who played in those five games, but more importantly, he helped them get to the finals of the Pacific Division playoff that year before just coming a bit short with the Bakersfield Condors. And it's also the same Logan Thompson who that season had a goals against average of under two. He had a save percentage of 94.3. So for the people who do not remember or maybe do not know how good that is, a 94.3 save percentage was the second best in all of the AHL. His goals against average of 1.96 was the second best in all of hockey that year. So to say that he earned that opportunity, and more importantly, to say that the Vegas Golden Knights were watching that very closely, That would be an understatement. As when Logan Thompson was in net, the Henderson Silver Knights, during their expansion year in 2020, was the best record in the Pacific Division. They finished as the number one seed going into the playoffs in the Pacific Division. And as a matter of fact, this is something that a lot of people may not know, is that when it came to the playoffs that year, And when it came to what they had, this was a Henderson Silver Knights organization who in that postseason, they finished second behind the Bakersfield Condors. So overall, the Henderson Silver Knights did an amazing job in 2020, in 2021, and the fact that they had the best regular season record, they had the most points out of any team in the AHL, in 2020, 2021, and the fact that they went to the playoffs in the Pacific Division and finished second and were in the finals behind the Bakersfield Condors, that is an incredible situation there. So overall, when it came to the Henderson Silver Knights, the impact they made on the Vegas Golden Knights, you had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but you had six different players from that 2020 Henderson Silver Knights roster who made an impact in the NHL now. Like I've said before, Paul Cotter has become a everyday middle six forward in the Vegas Golden Knights system. Pavel Dorofia has become a young, hustle, energy type of guy who's a middle six forward and is a restricted free agent coming up. We'll see what happens in the next couple of months. You also had a situation where Giannis Roundbeer has become the specialty and really has become the label of a everyday utility guy getting sent up and getting sent down, getting sent up, getting sent down between the AHL and the NHL. 
He also had Katie Korzak, who's a young defenseman. He is someone who's been earning his way. And now, because of the defenseman and seeing what happens this offseason, he has a prime opportunity to be an everyday starter at the age of 24 years old, heading into next year's camp. And then you also have Yori Patara, who has been a guy who's been kind of a fringe NHLer, but a solid AHLer. And then lastly, you have the Stanley Cup champion and the MVP of 2023-2024 with your Vegas Golden Knights, and that is goaltender Logan Thompson. So this was really a fun episode, and let me know what you think about it. The fact that you look back at the inaugural roster for the Henderson Silver Knights, a team that had the best record in the American Le- American Hockey League, a team that finished second in the Pacific Division playoff, and an organization who went all the way to the final and lost to the Bakersfield Condors. Looking back at that roster four years later, there is so much talent that was on that roster. And since we have a few minutes left, I do want to quickly mention something. These players are not part of the Golden Knights anymore, but they were on that roster. You had guys like Jimmy Shaholt, who actually was a solid defenseman. He played a majority of the games that year, and he actually became a solid AHLer. He is out there in Seattle now. He was on that 2020 team. You had Cody Glass, a former first-round pick back in 2017. He played a few games in the NHL that year with the Henderson Silver Knights. He was on that roster. You had two defensemen who are now in Calgary who were in Henderson back in 2020 in Braden Bahal and Daniil Myramanoff. And more importantly, you had a former first-round pick who was eventually dealt for Jack Eichel, and that was Peyton Krebs. He was on that team as well. So what an outstanding roster of young talent the Henderson Silver Knights had in the AHL. And looking back at it and seeing it four years later, I just have to sit here in awe and say that this is a Golden Knights organization who took a few players from the Henderson Silver Knights, saw what they did in the AHL, and have now promoted them, and have made them an everyday guy in the NHL. Once again, Giannis Roundbeer, Katie Korzak, you have guys like, for example, Paul Cotter, Pavel Dorofiev, Yari Patara, and Logan Thompson as the guys who went from the AHL and went to the NHL now and are part of the Golden Knights organization. So this is Vegas Hockey Hub. I'm your host, Ian Rakelli. And until next time, continue watching hockey, go support junior hockey, and go Knights, go.